Hello. I'm about to play a video for you. I filmed it last month, March 11th. I've been under the weather on and off. Uh, started out with a bit of a respiratory thing, being out in the cold. I finally get over that. And I got belly sick for, for a few days. Then I get better, and then I got laryngitis. That was actually fun. <laughs> so I've got a video for you that I filmed. Um, I'm going to skip some of it because uh, this didn't really turn out. And neither did this. <laughs> so you'll see me turn a little bit of that. But the one thing, the most important thing that turned out was uh, Tommy Reddit's. I made him a spalted maple ferro rod set from the spalted maple that he sent me. But then I realized he really likes the fatwood. So, gosh darn it, I taped it too. Um, I didn't take pictures of these. They're packed and ready to go, and I'm editing the video, and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to rewrap these. So I didn't take very good video, or, no. so this is your ferro rod, Tom, Enduring Patriot. I hope your dialysis is going well. And uh, here's your beautiful striker. We'll make sure to take some pictures of this for the end of the video. And then uh, put these suckers back in there. And uh, go ship it out right now. I'm heading out. Let's see if I can get this one back in. Ah, this way. There. Um, okay. Gonna do it a, a quick little fire it up, because it's Friday. Charlie's working on his fatwood ferro rod and striker set. He made uh, his first epoxy resin handle, put all kinds of cool stuff in there. Um, the pennies weren't the best idea. <laughs> There's a jawbone in there. He loves bones. Stuck a penny in it. Uh, nice little blue plastic heart. And uh, Annie Oakley sticker. Uh, the striker hasn't been turned yet. Um, let's see here. There we go. It's got some crystals in there. Oh, yeah. He's got some geodes in there, too. <laughs> A little rough on the old tool, but my, uh, My roughing gouge is junk anyways, just needs more <laughs> sharpening. So yeah, I've got to turn his striker, and then he'll have a lifetime, lifelong lasting ferro rod set for the guy. He's only 10. Um, I've been making a lot more of the epoxy resin. I'd like to send a few of these blanks to some friends. We'll see how my money situation goes. Yeah. yeah, I really, really like the epoxies. Okay, so let's do a fire and then I uh, hope you enjoy my video. You'll see this turned on the video. This is Austrian pine. All the rest is red pine. This is a nice striker right here. 
Yeah, I've been up and down for four weeks, five weeks. Yeah. But I'm back. Let's do a fire. Woohoo! It's rather windy. <coughs> It's rather windy. Just gonna do a little fire it up. Got my feral rod from David Burke altar. Get a little closer. Man. This striker really scrapes the shavings right off. Yeah, that wind, I don't know, man. Woohoo! That's why you want to get you a super striker, 3 8 Woohoo! Oh yeah, and uh, the video you're about to watch. I uh, lost the footage of my fatwood hunt, but that's okay. We don't want an hour-long video. I'll be going back to those thorns to kick their butts sooner or later. Cheers, everyone. Fresh new fatwood haul. Hopefully I can find the footage I lost. We worked hard for this fatwood. Thorns and prickers and all that good stuff. I've had a shower. I've picked a few ticks off of me. We got tore up getting this stuff. Thorns, thorns, thorns. Woohoo! Hello. I went fatwood hunting yesterday. I can't find my footage, but I've got all kinds of goodies. I'm uh, real curious about this piece that I found. It's a little light, but it's very juicy. And I got quite a pile here. I'm real tempted to go back and just kind of film and show where I was getting all of this fatwood. I was there before on a recent video, and there's just... Thorns and prickers everywhere. Uh, took a lot to get to all these trees that are just laying down in the thorns. But I got a lot of good fatwood and uh, worked our butts off. Steve and Charlie came to help me while I was out there. Steve was walking along the log. Because there's this log you can balance on and walk across it, but you don't dare fall off because you land in the prickers. He, he landed in the prickers. <laughs> yeah, we got pretty tore up. This thorn here I had to pull out with my teeth. It was in there so good. Um, yeah, I would go back right now, but it's gonna we're going to have possible scattered showers in the next couple of hours. And it's a good 45-minute drive out there, so... I'm going to take it easy. I worked my butt off yesterday, and I'm going to process some of this fat wood. And then we'll have an awesome burn. Here's my score. It's pretty wild, I know. Um, my shadow is in the way. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Some pretty nice fat wood, I must say. Another big one right there. Got a double right there. Got a burnt one. Whole lot of fat wood in there.
think I'll process some more. Then I'm going to do a turn. I'd like to do a turn with this piece. This one I picked right up off the ground. It was in the dirt, so it was already starting to rot. That's a cut from who knows how many years ago. But all these trees that I found in the thorns were just loaded with branches. Awesome branches. Check this one out right here. Look at all that crusty resin. Just saturated. So yeah, this piece I want to put on the lathe. And uh, see what I can get out of it. Got a certain friend in mind for this one. I am pooped. I am whooped. And of course, this is all red pine. So I'm going to process up some pieces, take some pretty pictures, and uh, turn you back on. Boom shakalaka. Oh yeah. Look at that fiery color. Golden goodness. It's one beautiful piece. This is some beautiful fat wood. Ain't that beautiful? Beautiful fat wood, absolutely beautiful. I'm filling up tins. They're getting low in my store, so uh, I'm restocking. The trick is to get them as many as you can get in there, but still be able to close the lid all the way. Oh, some of these will need to be chopped down a little bit more. Nice and fresh. That's all crusty resin. The neighbors are jamming. It's like summer right now. Not even mid-March yet. Now all these flakes, when you pull them back, it's going to be dark, dark, very dark red. Might actually look better in the shade. Okay, I'm in the shade now. See any of that crusty goodness there? That's resin coming out of the wood. And like I said, you peel back these flakes. And that's where your darkest resin is found. Very nice piece. I've got the scale, might as well see. I'm refilling all my fat wood tins right now. Alright. Woo wee. It's about a four pounder. I'll be cutting this dry end off over here. And then I'll be cutting this in two pieces. Good morning. How you guys doing? I'm ready to do some more turning. Got this dry piece I just showed you. 
going to get a, a light fat wood handle out of this. I'm curious to what it's going to look like. It's all straight lines, no knots, nice and dry, but I guarantee you it's going to have some beautiful ribbons of resin. Hey, my light no worky no more. I remember it doing funny flickers. Oh, just use this one. Okay. <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> There's a kid in my house. <laughs> I'll also be turning this piece. Yep, I got the hole right there and there. And that was going to be interesting. And then I've got this one and this one. And this one. This one will be interesting. It's got a couple knots over here. Very rich. I might flatten that out. I might saw it a little bit, make it a little more square so it holds on there better and don't hit me in the gourd. <laughs> ah. Okay, um, and one more. The one with the two big knots and the two itty bitty knots. So I'll cut these knots off. And then this old cut here, I'll probably take off, square it a little bit, get it ready for the lathe. And I'll cut this right about here. And we'll spin it just like that without the wings. <laughs> Show everyone your piece of wood. That is from the Granddaddy Austrian Pine. Show the other end. Now Charlie's just a beginner, so when he saw this branch, he started cutting it. Hold it right here. He started cutting it right here instead of close against the tree. So we stopped his cut, and it took us a couple trips out there, but eventually he was able to cut his branch off, and that's his piece. How much did this weigh? Five point five pounds, one point nine ounces. ounces. Yep, she's a hefty one. So give it a spin around so everyone can see it. Roll it, roll it all the way around. There's your twisted sapwood. Keep going. That's why. Show them all the X chop marks. That's why you can't split this thing. That twisted sapwood is super strong. We need a table saw for this sucker. It's snowing.